How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Wonders. We are back at it again for another episode. It is a glorious Thursday morning. Not a fairy fart of a cloud, which is bloody good. It's only going to be a top of 16 degrees Celsius today, which again, I'll put right here for you guys in Fahrenheit. It's going to be a bloody good two days, because that's all we've got. All work left is two days until we can have the weekend to ourselves yet again you guys know I love me weekends simply because we can get up to whatever go out for a Friday night somewhere out middle of nowhere or whatever else but we'll think about where we want to go and I must admit with that little bit of wind coming from uh, behind me it is starting to get a bit fresh on the back of the neck without a doubt but that's all right guys I don't mind a little bit of fresh air that's why I decided to stand outside the car instead of uh, sitting in it for five or so minutes. Just to get a little bit of fresh air as it were. Once the temperature gets a little bit cooler and uh, there's no such thing as a fire danger period, we're gonna be having our fires out the back once again. Can't wait for that. But that's for a future thing, person, myself to worry about when it comes to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit around and wait until the day starts as per the usual and then we'll just enjoy the day for when it comes. So without further ado guys, let's get this video started and everything else in between. So as per the usual guys, let's go. Uh oh, fireys are coming. Coming from uh, that direction there. They'll be coming just down here. I'll we'll be probably here in about uh, 10 seconds, I reckon. Yeah. Mm. Those bloody sirens are not a pleasant sound, especially with my autistic ears. Very sensitive to noise. Loud noises like that, especially the really sharp noises. Mm -mm. It's like nails going down a chalkboard. Very unpleasant. I don't know if you guys can see it. So if you look under that blue roof, there's a little road that goes up there like that. I literally just saw them going up that way. I can't really see anything at this point. Relatively, relative to fire. So I think they're literally just up behind McDonald's. I'm like literally just up there. Uh, like I said a while ago guys, whenever I see SES, Fireys, Ambos, I hope that uh, everybody is A-OK, -okay, no severe injuries or anything else in between, or any injuries for that matter. I do hope everyone is OK. But anyways, I could sit here wondering if anyone has been injured or not, but it's that time of day that we get started, so Let's get this day over and done with, shall we? Another day done and dusted. And I've got a flea in here. I want to go fossil hunting. I know a bit of a weird one, especially from me. Wouldn't even know what I'm looking for. I could come down to the little river bank that we've got down the road from home. So while I'm here, I'll have a bit of a squeeze and see if there's anything, as you would say, interesting. But uh, again, I have no flipping idea what I'm looking for. Just want something to do instead of sitting on my backside doing nothing. I reckon you guys would recognize this uh, little creek bed without a doubt. I've come walkabouts around here quite a few times in the past. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking down in there somewhere. But uh, yeah, I don't know. You be the judge, you tell me if I'm gonna find anything. And if I do, sweet, if not, no big deal. Yeah, in the past half an hour of being out here, found a couple of these little spots where people have been having bloody fires. They've left their tail out here too. So I reckon they would have probably been having a bit of a swim in that. And then came up here to dry off and yeah, pretty much left everything behind. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research to 
some searching on uh, YouTube possibly. I did look up fossil sites and there's one about half an hour up the road from where we are. I honestly can't be bothered driving all the way up there and on all the way back. Could always be a tomorrow afternoon job. Yeah, in all honesty guys, like I said, I have no idea what I'm looking for. So, could be something here, but then couldn't, would be something, uh, nothing. Can't even bloody speak, let alone anything else. Ooh. You know what that means? Water. You're about to see the lousiest skipper known to mankind. That was weak. That just goes to prove that I don't usually skip rocks. There's people that go do it uh, professionally. Oh well. Time to go back. You start to play up just a wee bit. That usually means I keep being on these uneven rocks. One of the back is going to spaz them out. Hmm. I do have a metal detector at home. Maybe I should bring it down here. I have found a few different uh, things down here, like a five cent piece and one of those old school pull tab um, tab soda cans. Unfortunately, I don't have it anymore. That was uh, something that I just got rid of within a month of having it. Have a bloody wet morning this morning, guys. It looked like it was being raining most of the night, which uh, which is awesome. Looks like it's going to potentially rain for about an hour or two today, early this morning, and then it's going to be pretty much a dry day for the rest of the day. I was kind of hoping that it was going to rain a lot more, but uh, once we get down to a certain area, lawn in particular, it may be a different story. Now, as long as it doesn't rain when I'm loading up the van, I'll be a happy boy. I just uh, and saying that, it's mainly because of the bread. I don't want the bread to go weird, funny, whatever. As long as the bread doesn't get wet, I'll be a happy boy. Once it's loaded, it can do whatever the frig it wants. Well, here we go again. Ruddy traffic. It's not so much the traffic that's the problem, it is the ruddy, as you would say, roadworks. There's a whole heap of roadworks happening just over there to the right. I don't know if you guys can really see the uh, fencing, but just over there is pretty much where it all is happening. Unfortunately, there is a couple of uh, those portable lights that are stopping us at the moment. That didn't take too long. I thought I was, would have been sitting there for about a couple of hours, but uh, well, not a couple of hours, at least half an hour. But it was about, I reckon, close to about 12, 13 minutes. So that's not too bad. So now it's time to enjoy for the rest of the day for what it's worth. And it's also my dad's birthday today, so he turns a good old 69 today. Considering the amount of uh, health problems that he's had in the last two years is just, yeah, it's good that he's still kicking and scraping. Hmm. Looks like the winds have decided to come in have a little bit of a play around. That's all right. It's not uh, not overly too cold, but still that uh, wind factor has got that little extra bite to it than what it usually does. Can't be as bad as the uh, freezers at work. It's set at minus 27 degrees C, which I'll put down here in Fahrenheit. Tell you what, the colder it gets outside, it seems the colder that the fridges and freezers at work uh, sadly become. In such a way that uh, we've got these metal trolleys that we usually put stock onto that uh, us drivers grab to put the stuff into the van. And uh, basically, as soon as you grab it, that cold in the trolley feels like it goes straight to the friggin' bone. It is. Ugh. 
I don't mind it being cold. I prefer it to be cold, but there's a limit to how cold is uh, that I would like to handle. And uh, when it goes to the friggin' bone, mm -mm, that's a big no-no. And we've made it to that time of day where we're going out for dinner to guys. One of our favourite little pubs, restaurants, studies club. Yes, it's one of my favourite places. Steak and chips every damn time. That's right. I might find see see if we can find something different tonight. Oh, don't know about you guys, but that was very filling. A southern fried chicken burger with chips. Probably a little bit too much, but uh, right now we're just sitting back and relaxing and enjoying the afternoon for what it's worth. As you guys can tell, I've got young Miss Becky on the shoulder at the moment, so she's uh, quite content to sit there. So at the moment, what we're doing is we're playing some Fallout 4 to enjoy the rest of the afternoon. So I reckon we'll play this for the rest of the day, the rest of the night. Because it is currently 7.43 at night. So I think we'll be doing this for the rest of the afternoon. Is just enjoying this for what it's worth. So Dad did enjoy his uh, birthday dinner tonight. I must admit the restaurant was quite bloody noisy. Screaming kids running around like a bunch of lunatics that they are. But uh, that's just kids for you. I don't mind whatsoever. This is when they start squealing like a little piggy. That's when uh, that's when the nails on the chalkboard come out, and that's where I sort of cower away like that. So what we're going to do, guys, is put the camera down. So that basically means we're going to love yous and leave yous. I just want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of this video and everything else in between. Uh, thank you for being subscribed to the channel. Really, really appreciate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera down now and just enjoy for the rest of the afternoon for what it's worth. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then guys, stay happy, stay positive and everything else in between. As per the usual guys, keep it easy.